So recently Nissan revealed that in 2025 they'll be releasing a brand new generation of the Sylvia lineup. A huge win for all of us car enthusiasts, especially to those Sylvia fans knowing that the last generation's production ended in 2002, 22 years ago. However, this still leads to a lot of questions that need to be answered about the new Sylvia. So I've scarred the internet for every drop of information I could find and dropped it into this short video. You're welcome. But before we start, I would like to say that all information stated in this video is subject to change including final design of the car, so please don't hit me in the comments if this is not in the final release. Firstly, the Sylvia will come in two variants, the normal S16, which to be honest is quite ugly and boring, and the much more interesting S16 Spec R. The normal S16 is rumoured to be coming with a hybrid motor, but if we are lucky we may get a turbocharged inline 4. However, where the new lineup gets interesting is the new Sylvia Spec R. This gorgeous machine will be coming with a 6-speed manual, and it almost gives off the vibe of a better looking GTR. It is likely that we'll be seeing an option of this with the Toyota CVT transmission as an alternative to the manual, which is most likely due to the current complaints about Nissan's own CVT model. It's most likely that we're going to see this car going on the Japanese market next year and in other countries in 2026, but I wouldn't doubt that there could be possible delays to that. As far as the interior goes for both cars, it is pretty nice, spacious and modern, with a nice center screen. The Spec R will have a slightly racier interior, which I think looks fantastic. Judging by modern sports car prices and the prices of the latest Nissan Z, we can assume that the S16 lineup will range anywhere between forty to sixty thousand dollars, depending on the model. Enthusiasts are hoping that the Spec R will come out with at least a V6, but Nissan themselves have been quiet on its engine thus far. It is assumed that the Sylvia's will come as rear-wheel drive, but unfortunately, that is all the real information that there is on this car currently, and everything else is speculatory. Next week, I will be back with a longer video once again, but I hope you still enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing subscribing for more videos like this and other car related content on the channel. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.